The 14th of January 2016 took from us one of the most beloved human beings to have quoted the film screen. Alan Rickman entered the industry quite late and at his own leisurely pace. But unfortunately, he left us too early. So what do we most remember Alan for? The entire world remembers him as the man who brought the infamous Severus Snape in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series to life. Rickman in fact despised the role of Snape because of the negativity he had to portray through the character. He wanted to stop acting the dreadful role, but J.K. Rowling convinced him otherwise. In a tweet, Rowling had once revealed that when Alan Rickman expressed his feelings about the character, she slipped him a heavy chunk of information that helped him not only want to keep the role, but also significantly improve his portrayal of the now beloved character. But this talented artist was so much more, as Rickman's every performance transcended the screen and made their mark in pop culture and cult films alike. Alan Rickman started his career far from acting, as a graphic designer with his friends in the before computers era. His dabbling with drama as a teenager later encouraged him to enter into Friends Theatre and subsequently join the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. He was 26 when he auditioned for the prestigious university and got through with a scholarship. Rickman's big break, however, came in the spring of 1987 when the die-hard casting director offered him the role of Hans Gruber, which set him up as a typecast villain. Though Rickman may have played the part all too naturally, it was actually his first role in a feature film. But he hated being labelled as an actor who could only play characters with negative shades. Over the long course of his career, panning more than 50 films, he took on the roles of all kinds of characters, from villainous to comic and romantic. He even acted in television and bagged accolades for his role in the 1997 HBO series Rasputin, the Dark Servant of Destiny. The diaries of the late Alan Rickman, with over 27 handwritten volumes of his witty, gossipy and utterly candid thoughts about his career and life spanning more than 25 years, are set to be published in the autumn of 2022. I found that Alan is actually hilarious. <laughs> he and is, he and, be very, and very funny. really funny and self-deprecating. There's no doubt that time would have to put in a lot of work to erase Alan Rickman from the hearts of the people, because we will remember him always. Mm.